This is the best attachment you will ever buy for your weed eater. This is your traditional weed eater head. It has a string on both sides, uh, spins super fast, and it cuts the grass very, very fast. Over time, um, when using the weed eater around the house, these these little 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 weed eater little weed eater strings, they start wearing down. You tap on this at really fast speeds, and the thing comes out. And it's super cool, super complex. It works really well. But the only issue is when you start getting to thicker grass, this this can't handle it. This is pretty, this is this is like really thick string. This is 0.95 string. It is kind of cheap string. This is like Walmart brand, but nevertheless, 0 0.95 is 0 0.95. That's like, that's almost as thick as it gets. I mean, I know thick. Bam! For this, for you to replace the string, you have to open it up, do a bunch of complex stuff, kind of have to fiddle with it. And it's just, it's a nightmare. And, and, and when you're in the hot, you're, you're trying to work, like you don't want to be doing this. Come on guys, it's it's 2023. Like honestly, this should have Alexa on. It should be Alexa enabled, like realistically. That's when this bad boy comes into play. Now I don't recommend you use this around the house. This thing has metal ends, as you can see, uh, serrated by some plastic stuff. And if you, you <laughs> if you use this around the house, you will break something and I have. Or I didn't break anything, but I almost did. I was weed eating around the, uh, we have like a little stone thing around our front stairs and our front porch. And this hit that stone and it sparked like I thought the house was gonna catch on fire. So be very careful using this around the house, even around animals. Uh, make sure you use the best protection that you got, like face mask, face shield, sunglasses, like a hat, like, like wear boots, wear pants. Cause if one of these come flying off, it's gonna hit you and it's, it's gonna hurt. Um, let's let's go let's dive in to the weed eater and I'm gonna show you how to install it. Alright, installing it on your weed eater is pretty straightforward. Every every weed eater is different, but they all kind of share the same principle. So uh, these things are typically all reverse threads, so if you spin it the opposite way it will come off than you're used to. So this is already pre-loosened, it should never be this loose. There it is. Alright, so I have the whole old head off. So it is very simple to put the old one back on. So if like you need a weed eater around the house, you can put this one back on. It just screws in. So there's supposed to be this ring. This ring comes from the weed eater, right? And again, every one is different and this is used. There's a little notch on this side. You put the screwdriver in and it locks it from spinning. So from there, these are all the little pieces that come in the kit um, and there's numbers on them. So you can kind of go individually and see which one fits yours. And the instructions kind of tell you exactly what you need to do. So there's no guesswork. You just, uh, I got lucky. Number one is the one for the Ryobi. And uh, I think it's for the Echo uh, and Steel. I think it's all the same. So the number one works. There is this little black washer. Uh, if you do tighten your thing, your, your, your trimmer head all the way and you realize that it's still loose, they recommend you put this in there to kind of take up that gap. So keep that in mind. And the way I found out how it works is I put the tip on the way I knew it was going to go in here. So I knew that it's going to go like this and come and be flush with the top. So what you do is you put it here and you start spinning it counterclockwise. So the way you're used to not doing it. So see, now it goes in with no problem. It's smooth. It's nice. It can go all the way and tighten all the way back out there's no worries now if like let's say i tried number two see it doesn't even spin and number three is even bigger than that so what you're going to do is you're going to grab the piece that's already with your weed eater again everyone is different you put that there you're going to have to do the washer next and then after you have the washer ready so you have the washer right there you're going to put this in the weed eater head straight down and you got to use your finger to hold it down though so this is the kind of tricky part you can't really do on camera but we can try so you have to kind of spin it slowly for it to catch and at first i thought it was a little weird that the screw didn't go all the way in but it is fine uh, and the design in the reverse thread is the theoretically the faster this spins the more it tightens so Theoretically, it doesn't loosen. <laughs> That's the goal, okay? Uh, so yeah, we'll go from there. Let's put this on and let's kind of see what, it, what it's capable of. I, I kind of have an idea, but I want to put it through its paces and see what it can do. 
All right, now that we're back from the demonstration, uh, I have some really thick grass for us to mow, and I've been kind of letting it grow just for this video. <laughs> uh, I originally had planned buying another type online. Now, there's many different types of this, and whichever one you get is fine. This one, fortunately, does have replaceable tips, and that's nice because you're not wasting money rebuying the same thing over again. You can just buy the replacement parts, and you don't have to worry about it again. I mean, that's, that's awesome. Um... You also have to keep in mind, I have a gas trimmer. If you have an electric trimmer, you know, you're going to have to use something that's less power intensive. And usually on the packaging, it will say like uh, gas only, electric and gas. Uh, also, if you're looking online too. Um, everything does the job done. You know, that's my saying. Okay, so everything is as normal. You start your weed eater as normal. You go do your thing as normal. I'm going to take you guys along with me. This is going to be just a nice short video. Nothing dramatic. I just want you guys to see what this thing is capable of. Now this is a cheap Ryobi weed eater. This is like bottom line of the one you can get at Home Depot. So if this thing can do it, anything at that store can. Honestly. Honestly. Now a key to a successful weed eating session is when you start your weed eater, you gotta breathe in all the fumes. So you get one with the weed eater. Okay, so full disclosure here, um, this thing is definitely not intended to do what I just did, but uh, we were curious to see if it would cut this down, um, and it definitely did a really good job, but again, I do not recommend you cut <laughs> uh, trim tree limbs down <laughs> with this thing. But yeah, if, if you want something like this for around the house, I probably wouldn't recommend it. This thing is really dangerous. And if you're doing it around people and animals and stuff, I'd be very, very careful because that thing may not break, but it may launch something really far because it's not like regular string where it just, you know, bends over it and doesn't launch anything. I'm gonna show you the aftermath of what we did. So this is the blade. You saw how clean it was when it started. So honestly, looking at it now, when I was weed eating, it looked like it was broken, but it's just really bent. <laughs> uh, the teeth are still fine. They are, you know, coming up, but I mean, that's, that's to be expected, but this thing is spinning super fast. And I'm, I'm kind of like speeding. I'm not really taking it slow. The only reason why it's like that is because I kept hitting rocks. And <laughs> I hit a couple big ones. So um, if I was going a little bit slower, and the more I cut this, I can start removing the rocks and moving them somewhere else. But I think I'll be more than, more than able to finish this whole area, these three rows. And then there's a little bit to do up front in the driveway. And I think it'll be just fine. But uh, I'm going to end the video there. There's not really much to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the video, please leave a like in the below. I'll have a link to this actual product uh, down below. You can get it at Home Depot. I'm sure Lowe's has the same thing, maybe even the same brand. Um, but yeah, definitely check it out. I'm not affiliated or anything. So if you do click on it, just send me a comment like, hey, I bought it. I love it. Blah, blah, blah. I hate it. You recommended garbage. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Bye.